ChatGPT just launched a brand new feature that's a massive upgrade because they're finally starting to give their connectors more power and this is an absolute game changer. You can now use this to have ChatGPT help with your calendar, your email, and so much more. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what the change is that I'm talking about, how you could use it, and I'm gonna share with you five crazy examples that you can use to begin to set up automations around all the different connectors in ChatGPT. Okay, now that brand new feature that I'm talking about is ChatGPT can now reference emails, calendar events, and a lot more in chat and in responses. So the way that you're gonna do this is what you need to do is come over here, come into your settings, click on connectors, and now you're gonna wanna make sure that you have all of these different connectors enabled. As you can see now in Gmail, it says chat, Google Calendar says chat, Google Drive says chat, and a bunch of these other ones also say chat. I'll show you that in just a second. But first I wanted to show you what you could do. You could come over here and say, please go through my Gmail and let me know if there are any urgent emails I need to respond to. And then this will actually go through and it will do a search for that. Or you can open up another window and say something like, do I have any meetings on my calendar for today? And what these are now going to do is actually access connectors and be able to give you replies here and be able to do a ton more stuff that's really crazy because you can begin to use this to do things like automating certain things within your email, within your calendar, within your drive, or any of those other connectors that you saw over there. So as we can see, this went through. So it looks like I have no events on my calendar for today. That is true. I don't have any meetings today. And then if we come over here, we're going to see that this is still reading through my emails and then it's going to let me know if there are any that are urgent and if there are any that are urgent, I can actually get this to draft up a bunch of different emails for me. Now, if you wanted to, you could have it do quick and it will go through and actually do it quick, but these are the ones that are urgent that I need to respond to today or that need attention soon based on exactly what was inside of them. And then I can open all these inside of Gmail. Now, if we come over here and we go back into our settings and we come back to connectors, I wanted to show you a few other things. What you're gonna notice is some of these can now also be referenced inside of chat. If we click in a notion, this can now be referenced inside a chat. If we click in a HubSpot, this can now be referenced inside a chat. Canva, this can be referenced. Outlook, doesn't look like this can be referenced yet, but it should be in the future. And a few of these other ones can also be referenced now in the chat. So what you need to make sure you do is hook up to all of these so that you can begin to access them straight from within the chat. Because like I said before, in the past, when this first rolled out, you were only able to access this from deep research and it was kind of useless. And then you were able to access it from agent mode, which was also kind of useless because it would take so long, but now it could be referenced straight from within the chat. And the best part about this is if you come into schedules, you'll be able to schedule out tasks. And guess what? You can actually get these schedule out tasks to interact with your different connectors. So you can have things that automatically update you on urgent emails or if certain people emailed you or if you have certain calendar events or if things were uploaded to your drive or changes were made on GitHub or you had new leads sign up, you're now gonna be able to figure all that out from straight with inside of ChatGPT and automated if you schedule it. Now, before I get into some of those crazy use cases, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. Now, use case number one that I wanted to show off here is how you can actually get this to check your emails now. So I'm gonna to say to this using Gmail, check to see if any of these individuals have sent me an email that I haven't replied to. If they have, please give me a summary of the email. If they have not, please just remind me that I was the last person to send an email slash that there are no emails from them. Now, these are all people that I have to check emails with every single day because they're different partners that I have, and I need to determine whether or not they've actually replied to me. And as you can see right here, we could see that I've already replied to all these folks this morning, except for this individual right here. And this goes through and actually gives me an update here. And I could open it in Gmail and I could say, please draft a reply to Robin. And what that is gonna do is go ahead and actually draft a reply. Now, again, if we wanted to take this one step further, what we should do is we should open up a new window right here, click on settings, come down in the schedule, click on manage, and I can open this up and click into this right here and change this task. And I'm just gonna type this prompt back in here. I'm gonna get this to happen daily, every day at 9 a.m. And I can name 
this check on sponsors. And now what's going to happen is that is going to happen automatically and I will just get a notification of who I need to reply to instead of me wasting the time to go through and check each and every one of those emails. Because if I have to check a dozen different emails, come up with replies for them, that's kind of a waste of my time when I could just use ChatGPT in order to manage that for me. And what I could even do is change this prompt a little bit and add in, please draft a reply to anybody that has responded. And then this will give me literally a perfectly thought out reply. And I could have this actually draft this in my Gmail. And then I click one button and it'll send. The second thing you could get this to do is access your Google Drive. For example, I created a Google Drive folder that's about how I won the school games with a one-man community, $300,000 a month. And if I actually come into my Google Drive, we'll be able to see that if I come over here and come into the correct Google Drive and do a search for this right here, we can see that this is a very, very long document. I could get ChatGPT to prioritize this for me. So what I said was, can you please find this file right here in my Google Drive and create an action plan based on that so I can implement it for today to be able to improve my school community. Now, what this did was that here's an action plan you can implement today and it went through and it gave me all of the different actions that I should take in order to move my school community forward. If you have a business, if you are working on certain projects, if you are doing anything like that, I would strongly suggest that you begin creating files like this so you can have ChatGPT access this and you can have ChatGPT actually build out your strategy and your game plan here. In addition to that, if we wanted to follow up with this, we could say, could you also check my calendar and fill in time slots where I have time available today in order to actually put these in there with what I should actually do during that time period. And what this is going to do is make you way more effective. It's going to make you more effective as a business owner. It's going to make you more effective as an employee or whatever you're trying to do in life. Now, use case number three is going to require one of the other things in here. So if we come into settings, we come into connectors, you will also see that we have access to GitHub in here. So this can access repositories, issues, and pull requests, and it's required for some features such as codecs. As we could see here, this now works inside of chat. So let's say that there was an issue in GitHub. We could then pull that in the ChatGPT and get ChatGPT5 to actually solve the issue for us. Or maybe we wanted to modify some type of code. We can do the same exact thing. We could chat with ChatGPT, have it pull that down, have it access a project, have it access a code, and be able to fix it straight from inside of ChatGPT, which is a massive game changer. In addition to that, if we come back into schedules, you'll be able to set up the same exact thing as a schedule. You can have it check your logs and see there's an issue with your code. You can have it periodically go through and improve your code. You could even have it go through and pull down any issues. And if you're not using the connectors and schedules features together like that, you're missing out on probably the most powerful way to use ChatGPT. For use case number four, I wanted to show you this with HubSpot, the same exact thing. It can reference contacts, reference deals, and CRM data. So guess what you can do with HubSpot? You could chat with ChatGPT and say, hey, can you please pull through all of my hot leads? Or can you please pull through 10 people that have been inactive that I should follow up with? And this can actually go through and access all the different contacts, all the different deals, all the different CRM data. And you could have this build out reports. You could have it build up follow-ups for people. You could even begin to connect a lot of these things together. For example, let's say that I say to ChatGPT, hey, can you check my Gmail for this email from this sponsor and then apply all these changes in my Google Drive? Or maybe, can you please check my HubSpot for this, draft a bunch of replies and have them actually sent or at least draft it up inside of Gmail. And the more that you start to think about how you can actually add all these different connectors together, the more you're gonna get out of ChatGPT because this ability to be able to access these things straight from inside of chat now is a massive upgrade. And then the final use case I wanted to get to is if you come into browse connectors, you're now going to see create right here. Now this is only in beta, but what you can do here is you could put a name for a tool, you could put a description for a tool, and then you could put the MCP server URL right here, how you actually want to authenticate it, just say that you trust it, and now you can connect ChatGPT to any MCP that exists.
In addition to that, now when you go to chat with ChatGPT, if you click on connected apps right here, this will actually pull through all of your different apps that are connected and which ones are actually enabled automatically. For example, if you don't want Google Drive enabled automatically, you could actually turn that off. Otherwise, you'll see that things like Gmail and Google Calendar are just automatically enabled and they'll get called on whenever they're actually being used. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI, and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I'd strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a brand new AI agent that's free that can help you begin to automate your work. I'll see you over there.